right, so we got a whole milk box full of Hot Wheels here to go through. So let's get into it. So went to Kroger and I uh, purchased, as you could see when we just started the video, a bunch of Hot Wheels. Now I counted them and I don't remember how many there are now, but um, anyhow, it should have been more than $26, okay, and that's just for the cars, but then it has this, this thing that says Easter here, and that's a minus $10. So, um, save ten dollars, but, um, what is this Easter thing, the, um, what is this Easter thing is what I'm curious about, you know, I'm not going to complain that I got ten dollars off, just don't know what it's for, don't really care what it's for though, I got it and I'm happy. So, we're going to start off our video with a new model for 2020 there's a bunch of new models in here that I either I have never seen before and then some of them are new new castings uh, this happens to be one of those new casting this is 2 Jet Z this was the Hot Wheels Legends Tour winner um, the Hot Wheels Dream Garage series and um, if you read this here um, this is a real car that like actually exists and um, I'll put in a couple uh, pictures of the real car um, I think I my um, other my iPad's dead so I can't really remember what pictures I have one of them is just pictures of this car one of them I think might be uh, Luis Rodriguez uh, standing in front of the car and um, uh, this is the first ever winner of the Hot Wheels Legends Tour so this is the first tour Z Jet Z and he built it along the lines of a Bonneville salt I can't talk Bonneville salt flat uh, uh, airplane belly tank racer and if you look at it it's quite reminiscent maybe like they said with a futuristic flair but it is quite reminiscent of the old belly tanker racers that you see out at Bonneville. And um, I, you can find stuff out about this at that website there. But so you don't have to do that. I made a note. The reason that they called this car Z, uh, 2Jet Z is because it has a Toyota Supra 2JZ engine. And um, it was hand built by Luis Rodriguez. And um, just a little side note for you Hot Wheels collectors there's also a blue one of these. Uh, whatever case of Hot Wheels these are that was at Kroger, uh, it wasn't in there. There's a couple cars I was looking for that wasn't in there. Um, but there's that one. But we bought two of those. So. I'm saying this one has a more bent up card, so got some package cars and some uh, not package cars. Most of them we're going to open up, but uh, there's a couple I bought two of to hang up. This would be one of those too. So right off the bat, quality Hot Wheels. It's it's not like some of the newer ones that are. Pla a lot of plastic. This one has a metal body and a metal base on it. That is rare nowadays for Hot Wheels to do that. Got our 2019 copyright on there. 2 Jet Z. This is a nice quality car like they used to build them. Um, our little wings up here or whatever are plastic, but um, I think those would be kind of pokey if they were metal, so it's probably a good thing those are plastic. Uh, they've done a good job on this too with all the little rivet uh, rivets on it um, you'll notice a, a few differences from the real car to the Hot Wheels car um, 
he had a lady painted right there where the Hot Wheels logo is at. You know, like on the old fighter jets, they'd have a lady or something painted on there. Um, on the Hot Wheels car, they put a uh, Hot Wheels logo. And I believe this red triangle was slightly different. The one that just made the camera go out of focus. I believe that one is a little bit different as well. This says, looks like it says four... The camera would focus. Last word is sun. The ink is a little mushed together on that side. It's not all stamped on there. But anyway, really good job on that one. I know this is going to be a long video, so I'm going to try not to um, get too into each car here. Here we have the... 67 Jeepster Commando in the Baja Blazer series. This is a really pretty turquoise one. I, I like the turquoise better. They kind of have it more of an aqua blue on the uh, aquamarine blue on the card here. But the actual casting is a very pretty um, turquoise aqua color. Still got the motorcycle on the back of it. Well, there we go. Get my thumb in there. So, <laughs> actually, believe it or not, this little bitty car weighs more than this truck because this car is all metal. So, you got some logos and stuff along the bottom here. I, I love these wheels that they came out with. Um, they've been using them for a year or two now, I think. Maybe a little bit longer than that. But... I just really like them. I think they look really great on a lot of the trucks they make. Um, we have Commando on the hood there. So uh, got the big winch there. Got the roof rack, although the bars in the roof rack are cast into the into the window there. But they're not too terribly hard to paint silver. I paint the uh, roof rack chrome, although the, I'm thinking with the white wheels, i um, thinking maybe doing a white roof rack. That might look pretty cool. Luggage rack, whatever you want to call it. All right, got our motorcycle back here. No graphics on the motorcycle this time. Um, that's about it. This is a 67 Jeepster Commando. All right, what do we got here? We got... Dunasaur, I knew for 2018. Okay. There were some tw new for 2018 cars in this big box of 2020 Hot Wheels, and it kind of was confusing me. I don't know what was up with this one. Now, Dunasaur reminds me quite a bit of a casting. I'm going to go get it because I forgot to get it out. I can't think of the name of it right now. The truck I was thinking of is this one called Hyper Rocker. That was uh, in 2019. That was in the uh, Experim Motor series. And um, that's the one I was thinking of. As you can see, it looks a little bit like it. Not as much as I first thought. But um, I couldn't find the actual casting, unfortunately. It's been moved. I'm not sure exactly where it got moved to but that's one reason I have that little book so this is a pretty cool truck I think I'm gonna take it out of the out of the package this one is called Dunasaur and oh it, it does have a little bit of suspension to it I know Hyper Rocker did has a, it has a lot of sus suspension side to side, just not, uh, you know, you can't press down on it too much. It's got a little push bar in the front. The colors on this, they did an excellent job choosing the colors. Let's angle our camera down. Did an excellent job with choosing the colors with the, the gray and the black and the kind of a, almost a terracotta orange, kind of a burnt sienna color. Really cool. 
Dunasaur. So, following in the trend of off-roaders that we have just started, from the Hot Wheels Screen Time series, we have the Sword Warthog. And Screen Time series cars are from movies, TV shows, video games, that sort of thing. So, apparently Halo is a movie, TV show, or game. I'm pretty sure if it was a TV show, I would have seen it at least on the TV guide, so it's probably not a TV show. But anyhow, got this neat looking truck here, and we're going to open it up. Actually, you know what? I believe Halo might, uh, it might be a video game. I think I've heard people talking about that. I don't do video games, so I don't really know for sure, but, um, this truck is pretty cool. <laughs> no step. So, really cool truck here. It's got a little winch on the front. The most obvious weapon on this truck, the big gun. It's got a roll bar on it here. Little windshield. There's a lot of, I, I'd hate to have to like do a custom on this and repaint it because there's a lot of uh, details in here that would be hard to, uh, you know, paint all the little nooks and crannies in here. We have some uh, equipment here on the back it looks like. Got a gas can. Really cool. It's got some off-road wheels on it. The um base of it looks interesting as well this is copyright microsoft so yeah i bet it's a video game is that the sword warthog it's an interesting name for it all right then we have from the rod squad series the 68 chevy nova this is the kind of fighter jet style paint job on this one here, this is a really cool car, and I would bet money that I bought two of those to open up. I'm seeing other ones I bought two of. We'll open it up in a minute. We'll open that one up later. Now the Mustang here, we will open up. This is in the Hot Wheels Race Team series. I like collecting the race team cars. Um, I have a bunch of them from, oh, previous years. <laughs> many, many years of the uh, race team cars. Some of them are red. Who remembers the red ones from the mid to early 2000s? The 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Gonna open it up here. It's got a mouth full of a name, doesn't it? A somewhat heavy casting. Got the spoked wheels on it. That pretty blue color that they have the race team series in right now. Got our gold, red, and white theme going on here. Pretty cool. And then the base there, they actually did put that really long name. <laughs> Instead of putting the Hot Wheels logo up here and the number stamp down here, they put a itty bitty little Hot Wheels logo up front and a big blank spot for the part stamp. That's about the smallest Hot Wheels logo. Other than the ones that's in the paint jobs of some of them. Alright. Moving on. A Hot Wheels armored truck in the Hot Wheels Metro series. Now this one appears to be plastic with a uh, metal base. But regardless, it is still a pretty cool truck. It's quite light though, unfortunately. It's got a big metal push bar on the front though. That's pretty cool. Um... 
and it is stamped out in the middle so looks nice uh, pretty basic base on here the base is metal but the the body is plastic and it's a really really light truck but it's all chrome so it does look pretty cool we have Hot Wheels Reserve got a big gold coin on there Hot Wheels logo nothing on the back same stuff on this side a lot of chrome on that one another race team series car here Ooh, zoom out we have the Corvette C7R in the race team series as I mentioned I don't buy every race team series car that I see but if I like the casting I usually will buy it some of them I don't care for though um, pretty cool car it's got these funky wheels on them that they put on some of them got a big wing on the back of it C7R it's got a white interior blue window section actually has the Corvette logo or emblem on there that's pretty cool number one and number two apparently all right new for 2019 in the Hot Wheels exotic series we have the 2016 Bugatti Chiron I'm going to assume that's how you say that I I've heard it pronounced I just can't remember so the picture of it's really cool they did a good job on the casting but if they're gonna paint in the grill and everything why don't they paint in those headlights All right, got some information back there. You can pause and read there if you want to. I read all of that later, so I don't have to read it during the videos. And you'll notice I try not to open them from the top because I risk tearing up the card art, which goes in the booklet, like I just showed you the book earlier on when we were talking about the dinosaur, uh, not dinosaur, that's, that's what it sounded like. What was that called? That was called the Dinosaur, not a dinosaur. All right, so really pretty blue color. Not quite a royal blue, um, but it's a little lighter than a midnight blue. But um, it's very pretty, almost a navy blue, I guess. I'll go with navy blue. Got this chrome trim on the side there. Some fancy wheels. Wow very 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 basic base on this one it's got a blue base on it i thought it had a black base i have the as i was pointing out the uh details on the front except for the headlights tail lights aren't painted either back into this car looks very odd all right got a 55 chevy bel air in the uh, Hot Wheels Flame series, they have made this car for a long time. 2006, it says on the bottom, is the copyright. Probably my favorite 55 Chevy that Hot Wheels made, at least in the mainline series. It's probably the one where it's a taxi. It had red windows that said taxi. It had red, uh, red rims on it. It was pretty. Uh, this one has purple flames kind of uh tribal flames on it pretty cool white interior really suits this car well a purple hot wheels logo on the back nothing on the trunk or the back back of the trunk or anything like that i don't think the windows are even tinted i think and no they're just clear plastic i think big chrome base got a lot of cars so i'm trying not to spend too much time on all of them the embosser the embosser is a cool truck when it works the white one I have uh, doesn't work I have the first release of this I'm surprised this is good on the track but it says best for track it's in the Experimotor series special feature the special feature on this one 
you stick a piece of paper in the slot, then you push down on the ramp, and it puts a Hot Wheels logo on the uh, um, on the paper. Or at least, theoretically, that's what it's supposed to do. Now, I like the colors of this one because it reminded me, sounds funny, but it reminded me of the colors of Indiana Beach. A lot of their colors, at least in their advertisements and on the sign and stuff, it is yellow and blue and orange. And so I thought, you know what? <clears throat> With the future of Indiana Beach posing right now, you know, is somebody going to buy it? Is it just closed forever? We don't know right now. So uh, yeah, that one actually came out really well. That's good. I can just go ahead and put this in the recycle bin. Then. But anyhow, you can see how um, you lift this up. You're supposed to press down on it like that. Do I have a little piece of paper somewhere? I wanted to show you guys. I don't have a little piece of paper with me, but... Let me cut one out. Piece of paper here. I hope I cut it. Yeah, I cut it big enough. Gonna lift up on it. We're gonna slide this through the slot in that truck. Press down on the ramps. Lift up on it. And there it is. There's your Hot Wheels logo. So kind of a fun casting there. This one actually works. My white one I had didn't work. But, um, not only is it a stamp embosser, it's a car, car hauler. So pretty cool. It says emboss this on the side. Pretty cool. Almost like the graphics on this one better than the white one. There's that one. Let me put that up there. All right. I bought two of these. I just don't know where the other one's at. This is the 64 Chevy Impala in the Tuned series. And, um, I don't know how long they've made this one. It says 2003 on the base. I probably have this one from when I was a kid. A little kid. Um, I haven't... I don't really remember this one, but, um... It's from the right time that I would probably have it. And I have a whole bunch of them from the Tune series, because when my grandpa would uh, buy them at the store for when I'd go over to his house, uh, when he would buy them, he'd, a lot of them that I ended up with were the Tuned series cars, just because, I don't know, I guess he thought they were cool or something. I thought they were cool. Um, I don't like a whole lot of them now, you know, but I do happen to like this one, so... Got a big motor in it. This is the first tuned series car I think I've bought in a long time. Got chop top on it. You can see how fat the sides are on it. That's kind of part of the theme of the tuned series. It's kind of fatter cars, but yet they're not... Some of them are goofy, but that one's not too goofy for us there. All right, I've been looking for this one for a while. The Super Van and the Art Cars series. This is... You can see the King... King of Hearts, got the Ace, and I know I bought two of these. I think two was all I bought. <laughs> I may end up with more of one than I thought I did, because I may not have realized it. But Now the Super Van they've made for years and years here, 74, and um, this base here goes on a couple different cars. I'll bring one out. Pardon the squeaky chair, I'm sorry. Um, this is a, a reboot of the Rapid Responder, which it, you can't see it now, but in an original one, they used the same, same everything, and then they just had a bumper cast in, and then there was a big gap back here. So, um, uh, I just kind of keep that rapid responder handy for this. So, I can't really tell what color the interior is because of the red, oh, red windshield. This has red seats in it. I forgot. That's how they did these. I think they, I think that not only did those trucks share chassis, I think they shared windows too, but I may be incorrect. I can't remember. But anyway, really nice graphics on this one. Pretty cool. 
All right, moving on here, we have the Bruise Cruiser Demolition Station Wagon in the Art Cars series. Not so much a fan of the uh, blue tires, but other than that, it's pretty cool. It's got a big bumper on the front. Got your motor sticking out there. Looks like we have a ship's anchor in the back of the car. Take a wild guess that this could be like an Oldsmobile, maybe. You know, they had the Vista Cruisers had the top part that came up like that. I don't know for sure. Oh, this is one you get to spell stuff with. We have a T here. Pretty cool. Oh, that lump indent must be the driver's seat, which you can't really see through the roll bar, but it's there. Pretty cool. I think this one has a letter, too. Yes, it does. The Roger Dodger. Which they, again, they've made Roger Dodger forever. They're 70. And then they rebooted it in 2015. This is uh, also in the Art Cars series. The Art Cars series um, recently has had a, a lot of really cool stuff in it. I ought to get all my Art Cars out and see, see what I can spell with them. So this is matte black with glossy decals on it. I love the gears on the hood. That's super awesome. That's really cool. Got the big R on the top. It says steam on the side with a lot of gears. and It's got gray wheels. Really, just really cool. Really cool casting there. This is one that surprised me that I bought it, but I went ahead and bought it. This is a total disposal. It's kind of a compact garbage truck. It could also fit into the Tune series quite well, as compact as it is. This one's new for 2020. This is in the Hot Wheels Metro series. And I think I'm going to open this one up. They, and they made the blister big enough. So, it's one of the newer ones that have a metal base and a plastic everything else, but it's still, the casting itself is cool. Total disposal, it says on the side. It almost looks like a radiator sticking out of the front. I would hate to uh, have my radiator outside of my car. We have some trash bags look like cast into that uh, um, metal base there. I don't have anything to point at it with. You can kind of see them there. There's three things there. Got your compactor here. The compactor doesn't really move that much. They just barely kept enough room to put a mushroom rivet on there. It's an interesting casting. We'll say that at least. All right, you can see, because I got one right here, got another one to open up. This one has a big crack in the plastic, so. We will open this one up. This is the 68 Dodge Dart in the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series. This is really cool, it says Mopar on the side. I thought I ripped the graphic on it. I about did, but I, I missed it. It's a really cool car here. Very, very vibrant green. It says Mopar on the side. Got our Pentastar there. Is it going to focus? When it doesn't focus, it looks like a recycling symbol. There we go. Got the Goodyear on the fender there and Hot Wheels on the back. Got a stripe, which could have been applied a little better, I think. Between the gap between there. A lot of flaws in this stripe here other than the obvious gap. 
This isn't laid on there quite right. Still a cool car though, even if the stripe is not quite laid on there right. The decals on this didn't really follow the quality control. Got some nicks in the paint back there. Then our paint looks like it's a little thin, but it gives it a cool look. So I'm not going to confuse about the paint being thin. It, it goes really well with the Mopar van, since they're both Mopar. Look like they might be sitting outside of a, a shop together, you know, like a Chrysler, I don't know, repair shop or dealership or something. All right. The six, the, I'm sorry, the 76 Greenwood Corvette. This is a real car, of course. Of course, the Corvette's a real car. Greenwood Corvette is a real car as well. I really, really like the um, colors on this one. It's definitely a 70s paint job, but I... Uh, Ask anybody that really knows me pretty well, and they'll tell you I like a lot of stuff from the 70s, not just the cars and the colors. But um, so anyway, I got the yellow, or let me point yellow, red, and black stripes. Then the gold, of course. So with the Greenwood Corvette, it's a wide body. You can see where the uh, back of the car is, and then where the wide body kit fits on there. I guess you call it a body kit. <laughs> the great big headlight covers there. Chevrolet, Hot Wheels, and Michelin. Got a white base. For some reason, I don't know why they put a white base on there. But, white question. Alright. Got the custom 71 El Camino with some type of turbine motors in the back of it. This is in the Dream Garage series. So we don't have any information. Apparently this is designed by somebody as well, if it's in the Dream Garage series. That's what I gathered from the little blurb on the internet I read about the series. Maybe that's not true. But. Got some gray and black flames with a metallic gray uh, paint job. Some cool flames. Got the steel wheels on there that I like. Chrome base. Now this is from 2012, this casting is, so maybe it's just in the Dream Garage series. Got the tailgate down here. Looks like the hydraulic rod right there might lift the tailgate up and down if it was if it were a real car. I like how they used part of the plastic from the window section to incorporate that into these hoses here to um, give it some more depth and some more color to it there pretty cool they actually did put the reverse lights in the tailgate like it's supposed to have that a headlight poked out as you could see in the picture they actually included that as well pretty cool looks like the interior is a pretty stock El Camino Got a 90 Honda Civic EF in the Then and Now series. This car's been featured a lot in the Then and Now series in different colors. This one is blue. There's five pairs of cars in this series. I don't usually try to find the pairs. Generally, I just like the older, the Then cars versus the Now cars. It almost looks like it's got the Spectra, Spectra Frost, I can't say that, paint job, and then it's got a gloss clear coat over it. It's kind of got that look to the paint, but it may not. It's a right-hand driver, though. Got a sunroof in it and a wing. Our package is moved. Got the steel wheels. Got our VTEC stamp down there. Got the red trim. Nice, nice little car here. And we got our lights painted in there. Alright, so obviously 
the one that's sliding, literally jumping out of the box here. RV there yet. This is in the Tune series. Got two of those. Now you probably saw when I laid the car down. This car only has four wheels. These middle ones here are just decals. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I had a hiccup. It's in the Tune series. It's called RV there yet. New for 2020. This is what I was talking about with a lot of the new ones have a lot of plastic on them. This whole red car is plastic and then the base is plastic. The only metal parts is camper. And bear with me here. Don't get mad at me when I say this. Just look at this part of it. Front end looks kind of like a very highly customized 56 Ford. 55 or 56 Ford, okay? And then you go back. Maybe it's a smart car or something. It's like a 56 Ford meets a Volkswagen Beetle meets a smart car. And then the trailer is definitely a Volkswagen Beetle trailer. Um, if you haven't seen those, well, I can't think of what they're called, but th th there's a... A trailer that's shaped like this and it, it attaches at the top of a Volkswagen Beetle and it's a camper trailer and um, uh, that's what that's why I bought this that's what this reminded me of so there is the info on the back of this one and we will open this one up now and it was ready to come out not much glue to that plastic all right so you can tell when you have the heavy part versus the light part you know like because right now it feels like all i'm holding is this white part the white part is die cast and the rest of it's plastic so unfortunately it's not a super high quality car also it looks kind of funny when since that first wheel doesn't or that middle wheel doesn't spin right off got a little scar in the uh, window section there RV there yet just real smooth plastic there so we have these wheels in the front and then the uh, disc style wheels in the back trailer's got a little uh, spare tire on it big window got a sun a sunroof or moonroof in it Pretty cool. It's too bad that the camper doesn't pop up like a uh, like the um, cars, the the Volkswagen tr camper trailer, you know. And you could like turn it around, you know. If this popped up out of the top of the car and you could like steer it, that'd be cool. There's the front of it. There, it's got little bumper stickers on it here on the fender. You can't read any of them because my camera won't focus. There we go. I love camping and Hot Wheels road tripping. It's kind of an interesting casting there. I'm not, not super thrilled with it, but I did want to have one, so I bought it. Alright, another Toon. Man, I bought more Toon series cars today, or couple days ago when I bought these than I have in years but another tuned series car here this one they've made for at least as long as I've been around okay 2004 okay so maybe not quite as long as I've been around but pretty close so this is cool one I think it's always been a tuned series car it says cool one on the side ice cream bars and treats and I have the cool one from when I was a little kid right here I'm still not sure how I managed to mash in that window like that but I did and um, I had to number my cars I guess when I was little and um, but you can see it says ice cream and it says cool one down there you can kind of see it better on this side 
So when I think of cool one, this is the casting I always think of, or the paint paint job, I should say. But it's the exact same as this one, just that this one has uh, it's solid behind the windows instead of being mashable, because apparently I could mash that windshield in, the, in like that. Or it could have got stepped on, but the car is not crushed, so I'm not sure how. But anyhow, I take that back. It's not exactly the same. Unless the... Uh, no, it is. Never mind. All right, so anyway, got the big back wheels in this one here. Got the red and white on the top, and then all the colorful eye-catching letters on the sides. Pretty cool. Oh no, it is a different casting. See the bumper? This bumper... When I was a kid, I put Google Eyes on all the cars. Alright, this bumper's cast into the casting. This bumper is part of the plastic. So it is a different one. They came out with this in 2004. Revamped it in 2013. Which is probably when the changes were made. Still called Cool One and still basically looks the same. Okay, we, we already looked at that one. Because it's right here. Alright, got the Nissan Skyline GTR R33 in the Then and Now series. This is a new casting for 2018. And I have a bunch of these out of the package, so I think for now I'm going to keep this one in the package. Um, cause, just because I've opened a bunch of these ones up. It'll probably get opened eventually, but... There's some info on the back about it. Looks like we're opening most of the rest of these. I see about three that we won't open. Alright, so from 007 Thunderball in the Screen Time series, we have the 65 Ford Mustang Convertible in that pretty light blue, baby blue color. Got a white interior. They've improved their windshields on these. Hot Wheels has improved their windshields on these Mustangs. They put the vent windows in and now they don't get mashed down so easy. Here's the back of it there. I like the um, disc wheels that they put on there. I guess that's what, you, that's what I call these. I don't know what the proper name for these wheels is. There's a name for each of the wheels. Got our Mustang logo. Oh! Well, you can see it. There it is. And we got a badge on the fender as well, or on the front of the front fender. Got a 205 on the license plate there. Do I have a back light? Nope, no back license plate. Does have a front license plate though. Pretty cool. Looks, actually, surprisingly, it looks good with those wheels. I would not have guessed that. Uh, just chrome on the bottom. That's a cool one. I really like the paint job on this next one, and I'm going to keep this in the package, but it's pretty cool. This is Roger Dodger 2.0 versus the original Roger Dodger. Um, so you can see where it could be a more modernized version of this casting here. Especially if you look at the front of both of these cars. The front is very reminiscent of the old Roger Dodger. Just more modernized. So, um, that's pretty cool. This one has two big motors in it. And it's just 
basically overall it's a more modernized version of the original Roger Dodger. This is in the Muscle Mania series. I love those flames on there. Those are like old school Hot Wheels flames. Okay. From the Hot Wheels with Flames Hot Wheels Flames series, we have the custom 69 Chevy pickup. And one thing I noticed on the card art, the head it has headlights, visible headlights, I should say. And this one the headlights are not cast in. We assume they are behind the grill. But and it's not quite a purple color either like it is on here. On here it's like a very, very purple. On here it's kind of a grayish purple, which is a cool color. Especially with the green flames. Uh, nothing really on the back. Really cool. It's a 69 Chevy. It's a step side, of course, as you can see. Got the sliding back window here. Pretty cool. Yeah, I just wish they would, like, actually cast in the headlights instead of having them behind the grill, which we assume is where they're at. Isle Driver. This is the Fast Foodie series, which has a Hot Wheels hot dog, very reminiscent of the Wienermobile, which will probably come back out in... It's in some new fast foodie series, I about guarantee. Now, Isle Driver's special feature is, uh, it said special feature somewhere. There it is. Usually it's up here. Your little shopping guy. This is a shopping cart. Your little shopping guy can apparently grab onto the, uh, Grab onto the cart in different spots. Back in the 90s, Hot Wheels had a shopping cart, car, uh, hot rod car, had a big motor in the, in, in the, um, like in the shopping cart. There it is. I don't know why the light's so dark. I have all the lights on. But this one's called Express Lane. And you know what? I wonder if the fast foodie shopper could push express lane alright now I want an open express lane and an open fast foodie I'll probably buy another fast foodie but I think I'll probably <laughs> I'll move the um, dragster up one and just put fast foodie above express lane that's probably what I'll do so um, there's that one I knew that I bought two of these. We're opening up this one, it looks like. Just to refresh you, 68 Chevy Nova in the Rod Squad series. Nothing on the back. Oh, that's a cool way they did that. They have the matte black, dark green, and then the lighter green is uh, glossy. That looks really cool. I like how they did that. I'm turning it in the light so you can, you guys can see what I'm talking about. Then the red rims on the wheels look really good. And um, then you got the, the mouth and the eye, kind of like a old fighter jet has the the teeth on it. 68 Chevy Nova. Pretty cool. I'll rearrange all that later. New for 2020, the Alpine A110. 
in the Factory Fresh series. I said new for 2020, and that says new for 2019. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> but regardless, it's quite an interesting car. Um, I've never heard of Alpine before. There you go. Apparently, it's a French designer. The company's Alpine. Huh. Well, good to know. Didn't know anything about it. I just thought it was a cool, kind of a cool looking car. So I got it. You know what, I'm going to open it up. I was That's what I was doing, was debating on do I open this or do I not open this. But I open this. It's a very pretty blue color. It's got some details in the dashboard there. If you can see through the windshield. I'm trying to get the light and not the glare and it's not working out for me so well. It says Alpine on the front. Got your headlights and your license plate. It says Alpine on the back as well. Got your tail lights. Got a very, very smooth base on this one. Nothing super fancy, just a car I'd never seen before, so I got it. Alright, we have 8 crate here in the Rod Squad series. And this version of 8 crate, putting them together, doesn't look so much like it. Uh, without seeing them side by side, it reminded me of this version of 8 crate. Um, which really, there's not a whole lot other than it's the same casting. But. When they weren't beside each other, it looked more like they had more in common. So we have a gluing issue here. But, um, so, 8 Crate in the Rod Squad series. They've made 8, I can't talk, they have made 8 Crate for quite some time as well. It might give a year, I don't know if they ever quit producing it. Apparently they did, because it's got a revamp number. It's got... 2002 when it first came out and then 2014 Yeah, I guess the bases are the same the stamping's not the same but the The design of the base is the same. They both have engines and Everything in the same spot you can see The they've uh, switched the stuff around a little bit you notice on the old Hot Wheels, it's got a registered sign after the Hot Wheels logo, and on the new ones, it doesn't. And they both have a copyright, so I don't know. Anyway, this is the new 8 crate, which is exactly the same as the old one, but it's a different paint job. Really cool paint job on it. I still think this is probably a Ford. They don't, they don't tell you it's a Ford, but I'm pretty sure it's probably a Ford. Ford had a uh, trim line that went exactly how the trim goes on this one. I can't think of the name of the wagon, though. Pretty cool, though, anyway. All right, one more here. The one that I'm going to open up and I didn't... Oh, well. 2020, this is new for 2020, the Volvo 850, <clears throat> what happened to my voice? Volvo 850 Estate, Hot Wheels Race Day, 93, can read that if you want to. I planned on opening this up, I just, I thought I'd bought two of them. That's okay, I will go back. Not as heavy of a casting as I thought it would. Everybody always says, you know, what a brick these cars are, and they really are. They're so square. They look so cool. 
my last the plastic as very much of the car is plastic it's not as bricky feeling as what it looks but we have Volvo then um, 850 across the hood there number 14 I have a feeling this will be a pretty popular casting. A lot of people like these cars. You can see the wheels that they have on the car match the wheel that they chose as a spare tire. The one that won't focus again. I'm turning it so you can see it in the light. It's got a blue interior, right hand steering. And the milk box is empty. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next video.